Now to the growing storm brewing in Washington tonight, where Americans could soon find themselves caught in the middle of a government shutdown. It would be the first in nearly 20 years in our countdown to shutdown. It's ticking tonight, that clock. They have until midnight tomorrow night. And in the meantime, when that deadline comes in just over 24 hours, it won't just be the politicians aware of it. How about the Americans who will really pay the price? Here's ABC senior Washington correspondent Jeff Zeleny tonight. The halls of Congress quiet today eerily quiet, with only one day left to stop the first government shutdown in 17 years. A standoff between House Republicans here leaving the Capitol early this morning after voting to keep the government open by demanding a one-year delay of the new health care law. And Senate Democrats dismissing the plan as pointless, a bitter stalemate, but real consequences for hundreds of thousands of federal workers and all Americans. If no deal comes through, much of the government will go dark Tuesday morning. But I don't think they need to shut us down. I'm concerned. I really am concerned. Across the government, from the Labor Department, where over 80% of the staff face furloughs, to the Treasury Department, to the Pentagon, a looming shutdown that could delay first-time home mortgages, slow airport security lines, and even limit food safety inspections. The budget showdown shining a light on faces of the bureaucracy, like Maria Njoku, 27, with student loans, rent, and fresh worry about her job at the Defense Department. Here we go again. They do live paycheck to paycheck. And fears reverberating outside Washington, like in Biloxi, Mississippi, home to Keesler Air Force Base. Joe Jones, whose livelihood depends on after work over, and lunchtime haircuts, has a message for Congress. I think that if they were to lose their paychecks like everybody else is going to lose their paychecks, that might motivate them to probably solve some of the problems that they're facing right now. And Jeff Zeleny joins us now from Capitol Hill. Jeff, you pointed out the hundreds of thousands of Americans who could be caught in the middle on this thing. So I'm just curious tonight how many people there behind you on Capitol Hill are actually working the phones trying to solve this thing. Well, David, I can tell you not many. I mean, we walked the halls of Capitol Hill throughout the day, almost no signs of life and even worse, no behind the scenes negotiations happening. So everyone we've talked to here on Capitol Hill and down at the White House say they're almost certain a shutdown, at least a short one, is coming Monday night. A lot David. of folks are going to wonder why they're not working around the clock on this thing. Jeff, our thanks to you.